Concerns continue into tomorrow and then it's all about rain chances for the rest of the week and we haven't really touched on the tropics. It's really been about rain chances and heat the past couple of weeks ever since barrel uh, kind of fizzled itself out as it moved on a land, but I don't have to watch anything this week or next week, but the last few days of the month into the start of August, as we start to get into peak hurricane season, there are signs that the middle Atlantic, the Caribbean could wake up at least a little bit and uh, may have to watch for more chances of development. Right now, though, the tropics continue to stay very quiet. Gulf of Mexico looked completely different than it did a month ago. Very stormy for them all through the month of June and Caribbean looking good and most of the Atlantic. Once you get to Africa, that's where you start to see a little bit more signs of showers and thunderstorms. So that could be kind of the start of some of the waves that will start to cross the Atlantic. But as of right now, it's still all about the heat and rain chances. One more day of heat advisories. Rain chances look a little bit better tomorrow. Look really good, especially late Thursday into Thursday night and stick around all the way through the weekend. Very similar to last week where it didn't rain all the time, but some of the rain was pretty heavy. First order live radar showing any active severe weather well to our north. Big tornado warning there north of Albany as it moves deeper into Vermont, New Hampshire. For us, just some typical summer thunderstorms, a lot of lightning, heavy rain, and every once in a while you get a severe thunderstorm warning for some gusty winds. We'll see if any of this can make it across I-95. Uh, chances of that look relatively low, but did have a couple storms get close yesterday. Maybe we could see a few more uh, showers and thunderstorms later on this evening, but the better chance of rain really starts to arrive later this week and keeps on going through the weekend into early next week with data still showing over the next week three to six inches of rain for a good chunk of the area, two to four for other locations. Not all going to come at once, hopefully, but we will be watching for any flash flooding concerns since we did just come out of a pretty wet period, but we've had a lot of heat this week to kind of dry the ground back out. Plus the ground absorbed a lot of that water because of how dry it's been. You could still see pretty nice boating conditions today. A little breezier today, a little bit choppier, probably out of the open water tomorrow winds maybe increase just a tad. Very similar though to what we saw today. Heat advisories, excessive heat warnings all the way down the east coast, middle part of the country still dealing with some heat concerns as well. And that's just going to probably stick around for several days. It's summer. Heat advisory is pretty common, but once you get into those pinks, that's when things get a little crazier, a little bit hotter. Thankfully, today should be the last day. Most of us are under excessive heat warnings. Feels like temperature still 105 to 115, some spots over 115, but just hot. Just need to stay hydrated. Just need to take care of yourself. Notice the heat risk the next few days. Still hot, still need to pay attention to things, but we start to see that heat relax, especially by the time we get into those higher rain chances, a little bit more cloud cover on Thursday to keep temperatures more in the 80s. Heat index still could get near 100 in a few spots, but we're just not seeing the 93 to 97 we've had in place since the rain chances left over the weekend. Could start to see some of that come back next week, 92, 93 by this time next week. If rain chances dip like we have them at right now. Lower rain chances means more time for temperatures to get a little bit hotter. So we'll keep an eye on it, but overall the forecast does look at least a little bit better temperature wise than it has been.